what's good youtube i'm back here with the next video today's not gonna be a, like i've been streaming for the last couple of days so if you're like if you're available during the day just join show love what today's gonna be a hair tutorial video or like the best hair products you can use so uh, recently i've been using like shave moisture and this product that i found on instagram it's a black owned business so i'm gonna show you guys in this video but i'm gonna show you guys my four month hair journey and i'll show you from the first day i cut my hair what it looked like and then i think i have a picture from like the first week what it looked like after and then i have a picture from the second month the third month the fourth month so i'm going to show you guys that let's get into it wait i forgot to tell you guys to like comment subscribe share the video too i'm trying to get my page i think like the last week i got like 20 plus subscribers but yeah I've been streaming like every other day. I've been doing daily for like the last three days. But if you guys have time, just tune into the lives. I usually do it like between 12 and three o'clock. So yeah, if you guys have time, just join it. But let's get into the video. All right, I'm gonna let you guys know why I cut my hair. I cut my hair because every time I wash my hair, the curls would be good. But every time like I went to detangle my hair, there'd be like these little balls on the end of my hair, which is like, the knotted up curls and then i have like a whole handful of my hair so i was like nah i'm just gonna restart so i i cut it all off but let's get into it so it was june june 14th i cut off my hair i got a level one as you can see in the picture and i remember i got a small taper on the back and i wasn't rocking with it i was like nah i don't want i don't want, like the taper on the back but i never got a haircut since june 14th so you can barely tell i got it I made him touch up my hairline a little bit, but as soon as I finished the haircut, I put black stuff in my hair to wash out all the leftover chemicals I had. And then I started using this oil. It was a growth oil. This oil, I would recommend. It has avocado oil, it has castor oil, it has hibiscus, and it has tea tree oil in it. So yeah, I recommend that. So it's July. For July, I started getting my little waves in. They're starting to connect, or they're trying to connect. And I'd be using this Indian hemp. I finished that so fast. I'd use it like every day because I do like my 30 minute brush sessions. I just uh, put that in my hair. I sometimes put it on the brush and I'll brush my hair. But yeah, I use the Indian hemp. I would still use a black soap every Sunday and I'd wash my hair. And then I would still use the oil too. I use the oil every other day before i go to bed because you know your hair grows during the night so i use the oil and that's that's it for july i don't think i really have anything else for july but for august august is when i started using this butter it's a hibiscus hair growth it's the same girl so i'm gonna leave a link to her website but this has mango butter shea butter it has avocado oil, it has tea tree oil, it has perfume. So I recommend this for you guys too. I still use this in my hair too. But yeah, and then I started using, in August, I started using my, my bonnet. I started using a bonnet. It's super cheap, you can buy that. And then put the oil in your head before you go to bed and wear the bonnet. That helped my hair, I still do that every day. Before I go to bed, I just put a little bit of oil and I would have won it. But yeah, that's for August. For September, for September, I started using anti jackies. I started using anti jackies. Cocoa Repair Deep Conditioner. I use this every Sunday instead of the black soap. I never used the black soap in a long time, but I recommend the deep conditioner. That's what did me and it did me nice stuff. I use a deep conditioner. And I'll use the. Okay, I couldn't find it. And I'll use the shampoo, the moisturizing shampoo. I'd use that too. September, I don't have a picture for September, but September, like my hair was growing nice up until October. October's when my hair is doing nice too. But when I'm in the I'd shower, and I'd use the shampoo, then I wash on my shampoo, and I put the deep conditioner in. And then I'll put the bonnet on when I'm in the shower and I let it sit for like 10 minutes. I'll just be like in the shower. <laughs> I'll just be in the shower just 
washing and then after 10 minutes is up then i just wash it out and then like my hair will just have bare curls i don't know why i didn't take a picture in september but then october this is where i started getting like a lot of hair products and actually i forgot in september i used this oil this is my clothes oil it, it did so good for me as you can see i can't even show you guys a picture from september to october my hair actually grew i started using shea moisture shea moisture shampoo it smells so good this is the coconut and hibiscus and it's the curl and sheen shampoo with silk protein and nem oil but it's for thick and curly hair this is good i like this and then i got the conditioner for it too i got the conditioner for it coconut and hibiscus the same silk protein and nem oil this is good too it has no sulfates no mineral oil no animal testing same like she's good and then this is the, i stopped using from september to january i stopped using the anti jackies and i started using the shea moisture deep treatment mask the, i recommend this one more instead of the anti jackies but it costs more that's the only thing so if you're ball if you're balling on a budget anti jackies if you're balling, you have the funds, go for Shea Moisture. And then after I'm done in the shower, after I'm done washing out the shampoo, the deep treatment, the conditioner, I'll put in the leave-in conditioner. This is good for like whenever. I use this today. It smells good too. <laughs> but yeah, that's the leave-in conditioner. And then I bought the milk. I never got to use the milk yet. So if you guys want to know how the milk works, I could probably do like a next video, but the milk looks good. And then I started using the smoothie too. I'll put the smoothie in my head like, sometimes I'll put it before I go to bed too with the oil. This makes my hair soft and then I put on the bonnet and that do be good, but just the smoothie. But this, this is my favorite product. It's my uncle's. I'll, I could probably give you guys a link if you guys really want it. It's cheap, it's affordable. But yeah, that's my hair journey. It's my four month hair journey. And it's the best products. The products that I'm gonna tell you guys to actually get is Shea Moisture Conditioner, Shea Moisture Shampoo, Oil, and the leave-in. And you have to get the deep treatment. So all those together is probably like $50. If, if you wanna take care of your hair, you have to spend the money. That's what I learned. But that's the video, my four month hair journey. I'll probably get back to you guys when it's eight and then I'll do like a 12 months or one year. So I'm gonna try and get those videos out. My next video, I'm probably gonna do like a story time. And remember, remember the live streams every other day from 12 to three. I'm gonna try and do that if I wake up at 12. But <laughs> that's the video. I'll try and get a video out in the next two days, but please like, comment, subscribe, later.